Have you been searching for the perfect ergonomic chair and you continue to see the Steelcase brand featured in many of the top lists? Did you know that Steelcase is actually one of the largest manufacturers of office seating in the world? In this video, we're gonna show you the six most popular ergonomic chairs from Steelcase. Shopping for office chairs? BTOD TV is your number one resource for everything office chairs. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Hey guys, Greg with BTOD TV. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know we've talked a lot about the Steelcase brand of office seating. And that is for good reason, because this brand typically scores very highly when we review them for things like seat comfort, back comfort, and overall ergonomics of an office chair. Now, if you're in the market for a high-end office chair, we definitely think that you should consider the Steelcase brand. Before we jump into the video, I wanna remind you that on Instagram at BTOD TV, we will be giving away many of the products that we sell here at BTOD.com, so don't forget to follow us there if you want to be eligible to win those. Now with that, let's get into the list with the six most popular Steelcase office chairs. The first chair in the list is the Steelcase Series 1 chair, and this is the least expensive option in the list, starting about $400. It is a great option as it does have a ton of ergonomic adjustments. One of those is the four-way adjustable arm set that is similar to that of the Leap and the EMEA chair. Now, the downside is that it does feel a little bit more cheap or flimsy than that of the chairs like the Steelcase Leap V2 or the EMEA option. This isn't a great option for those users that are larger, as this is probably one of the smallest chairs in the list for from Steelcase. The Series 1 chair comes with a weight activated recline mechanism. It does have a fully upright lock position, and then as you recline back in the chair, this will be based on the user's weight. There is an additional boost system, which is something that's actually fairly recent from the Steelcase series, which offers a 20% increase in tension required as you recline back in the chair. Now, of all the chairs in the list, the Series 1 is my least favorite option. The second option in the list is the Steelcase Series 2 chair. Now, if we compare that to the Series 1 that we just looked at, it is a more substantial build in the Series 2. And I would actually think it's closer, in my opinion, to that of the EMEA chair than the Series 1. For about $550, you can get it configured with the fully upholstered backrest like you see here. However, that does not include the cost of the additional headrest on our chair that we've reviewed. The weight activated recline mechanism is exactly the same of that of the Series 1 chair with an upright lock position, a weight activated recline, and a 20% boost option as well. The headrest option that we added to the Steelcase Series 2 chair is something that I actually did really enjoy and the group as a whole enjoyed as well. It's very similar to that of the headrest found on the Gesture, which provides good support in all different positions of working and tasking. Now, it also includes that four-way adjustable arm set that people absolutely love at btod.com. This provides a nice wide range of movement and they are solid and consistent arm pads, much more than the ones that we saw on the Steelcase Series 1 chair. Now, overall, while this is a great option for many people. The thing that we didn't like about the Series 2 chair was that we found that the seat pad was one of the most firm of all the chairs tested from Steelcase. The Steelcase Think V2 chair is one of the most aesthetically appealing chairs that we have brought in from the Steelcase brand. And as it's set up in the video today, with its height adjustable lumbar, mesh back, and four-way adjustable arm set, it retails for just over $800. Now, if we want to compare that to the Series 2, which we just looked at, that's a pretty sizable jump, and for the ergonomic adjustments alone, it might not be worth the price. Now, it does feature a four-way adjustable arm set that's very similar to that of the Leap and the EMEA, with the only real difference being the actual shape of the arm pad. The Steelcase Think V2 features an exposed live back technology and the chair that we have here again has a height adjustable lumbar which is nice to fine tune that lumbar up and down on your back. It does have a little bit more advanced tilt function mechanism than that of the Series 1 and the Series 2 chair. So it has an upright lock position, a midway lock position, which is something that you won't find in the other two. And then it also has just the typical weight activated recline and the boost system, which gives you the 20% additional tension with the recline in this chair. Overall, this is a very nice chair from Steelcase and one of the most appealing if you're looking at aesthetics only. But at the price point of over $800, it might be a tough option to pick this over that of something like the EMEA chair. The Steelcase EMEA chair is one of my favorite options from the six that we've got listed here today and is a chair that I actually spend about half of my time in when I'm not in the Leap V2. Now at about $700, it is almost $300 less than that of the Leap V2, so it's a great option if you're looking to spend less than the higher end products from Steelcase. This also features the widely popular four-way adjustable arm set that's found on the Steelcase Leap V2 chair. 
In my opinion, the EMEA does offer a little bit better support in the tailbone region than that of the Leap V2, but it is a more scaled back chair. And when we look specifically at things like the lumbar system not being quite as pronounced and not allowing you to get the depth adjustment that you would get on the V2, and then additionally the tilt lock mechanism, that it's an upright locked position or a freely reclining versus that of the five-way adjustment on the Leap V2, it is less of a chair overall. The Steelcase Gesture is the most expensive Steelcase chair on our list, and as it's equipped in the video today with the height adjustable lumbar, it does retail for around $1,100. Now, the, one of the things that really does stand out with this product compared to that of the rest of the list is the cantilever arm design that's unique to this particular chair. We have found that this is the most wide-ranging adjustable arm set that we've tested not only on Steelcase chairs, but chairs in general. One of the functions that we really like on the gesture chair is its intuitive seat slider design. Simply rotating the knob on the side of the chair will allow you to adjust the depth of the seat while seated in the chair. Now, a couple drawbacks with this chair, things that were noticed is that the seat pad itself is a bit more firm than that of the Levy 2 or even the EMEA chair. And additionally, if you're looking for a very pronounced lumbar, we didn't really find that the gesture offered great lower lumbar support. The last chair in the list is of course the Steelcase Leap V2 chair, and it is the flagship ergonomic chair from the Steelcase brand. Now, as it's equipped today with the four-way adjustable arm set and the height adjustable lumbar, it retails for just around $1,000. Now, this four-way adjustable arm set on the Leap is the original four-way adjustable arm set that you now find on chairs like that of the EMEA and the Steelcase Series 2. Something unique that you'll notice right away about the Steelcase Leap V2 chair is the contour in the seat and backrest. Now, this is something that will naturally hug the user, so depending on your preference, it may or may not be a good thing. This chair does rank at the top of the list for seat comfort, back comfort, and overall arm comfort for all of the scoring done in 2021. And if you're looking for a very good lower lumbar support system, this is one of the most intuitive lumbar supports that we have tested to date. While most users do love the seat comfort on the Leap V2, it has been known to be a bit too thin for users who want a nice, thickly padded seat. Additionally, if you're looking for a chair that you can easily rock back and forth in, this probably isn't going to be the best option out of the list. If you're searching for a widely adjustable ergonomic chair, there's a good chance that one of the six most popular Steelcase branded office chairs will be a good fit. Now, does it fit your budget, or are there certain things that maybe these chairs that we had in the list today missed? It really depends, but if you want to find out more information on any of these chairs, don't forget to check out the YouTube channel because we've got a ton of content on all the individual chairs, where they rank in various lists, and also on our learning center at btod.com. Now, don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well as we are going to be starting the giveaways, and those will include products that we sell all the time that people absolutely love and use in their office every single day. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We've got a ton of great content coming out on Steelcase chairs and all other types of office furniture in the future. Thanks a lot for watching.